Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be taking a look at exactly what kind of performance impact you can see when switching between resolution graphics packs for use with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Simu Emulator version 1.11.4. All graphics packs I have used in these benchmarks are listed down in the description, as well as this I am using GX2 Draw Done, as not only does it give us better CPU and GPU synchronization, but overall gives us a better emulation experience as it fixes issues with buggy NPCs and fixes issues with using the camera rune itself. Let's jump across to my desktop and take a look at these performance impacts. Okay, so first up we have 360, 480 and 540p. As you can also see, as well as monitoring frame rate, we are also monitoring our GPU utilization. The system used in all of these benchmark tests was an i7-7700K clocked at 5GHz, 16GB of G-Skill DDR4 3000MHz memory and an EVGA GTX 1080 GPU. As you would expect, the higher frame rate is always going to be on the lowest resolution. However, due to the RNG nature of CMU performance, especially when using multi-core features like dual or triple core, we can basically attribute these performance differences down to margin of error. The performance differences we are going to see in this benchmark test will mostly be seen when we are pushing past the stock resolution of the Wii U itself, 720p. Let's quickly move over to our next set of benchmarks. So as you can see, we are now testing 720, 900 and 1080p graphics packs against one another. It is at this point in our testing that we can see our GPU utilization, especially in the 1080p graphics pack, moving well up past 70%. In our previous tests, we never saw it past 70%, sticking in the low to mid 60s. It is also through the utilization of the 900p and 1080p graphics packs that we see our frame rate drop below the 60fps threshold for the very first time in our testing. Ok, let's jump across to our final grouping of resolution graphics packs in this benchmark test. Our final three graphics packs for testing are 1440p, 2160p better known as 4K and 4320p better known as 8K resolution. As you can see, these resolution graphics packs, even though they do give me better image quality even on my 1080p monitor, give us massive performance drops especially when using 4K 2160p and 8K 4320p resolutions. Even though we did not at any stage in any of these benchmark tests run into a GPU handicap hitting 100% performance at any time, we still see massive performance differentials between 4320p and the base Wii U resolution of 720p. In the coming days, I will also be doing further testing on the performance impacts and differentials we can see when using GX2 Draw Done in combination with each and every one of these different resolution graphics packs. So the conclusions we can draw from these video benchmark tests are exactly as you would expect. The lower the resolution you use, the higher the frame rate you can potentially achieve. Now these performance differences were not always the case with CMU Emulator. It was only since the new multi-core features were released in 1.11.3 that we are seeing this kind of GPU utilization. Prior to CMU 1.11.3 and these newly introduced multi-core features, I saw basically no performance difference between 1440p and 2160p 4K resolutions when using either a 980 Ti, a GTX 970 or my GTX 1080. These new multi-core features have however leveled the playing field somewhat, allowing CMU users with older, lower clocked CPUs to get much better performance in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found this one in some way useful or insightful. Once again I'm going to end this video with another massive thank you to all of the new BSOD Gaming patrons over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. If you wish to help support the channel, you can find a link to this Patreon down in the video description. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.